I'm um, taking a look at some of the energies that were affected by crude oil. This huge jump in crude oil today. Take a look at this intraday chart. We're looking at crude oil, corn, as well as um, sugar, which are all forms of energy. Now, raw sugar futures climbed more than 1% as these oil prices rally. And corn was also up more than 1%. And oil is impacting corn since 95% of it is ethanol produced by corn. Um, and also the S&P 500 energy index is up more than 3 percent on the day but still oil's influence on all these commodities um, these agricultural commodities to be exact will depend on how long this interruption in oil will last taylor well, Renita, I'm taking a look at shares of MGM Resorts International. As you can see, up 2% on reports of Blackstone might be interested in acquiring two of those properties in Vegas, MGM and Bellagio. Now, this is good because it would allow MGM Resorts International to sort of focus here on their other operations. We knew that back in January that Vegas-based company did form an independent committee to evaluate ways to extract value from their real estate portfolio. This perhaps could be one way in which they could do that. Now, if you want to take a look at a chart that I'm showing here on the Bloomberg terminal. It's very interesting because MGM Resorts International does get about 77% of their revenue from the US, but it really is that Macau gaming revenue that has been taking off much more so than Vegas gaming revenue. Macau, of course, in white relative to Vegas there in blue. Interestingly enough, their Macau Casino, they do get about 15% of their total revenue from that. That is their biggest of all of their portfolios, so perhaps maybe a good strategy to be focusing in on that as that Macau makes up the biggest portion of their overall revenue.